Hey guys, welcome to another one time review. Today I'm going to be trying out the Shake Shack. Um, they have a new item that I'm going to see if I can get, and uh, I'll join you. They, ha they only have to go in, so I have to go in and get it, And uh, but I'll catch up with you when I get to the car. Here's the inside. Really not a lot of room to sit down just right on the edges, but um, yeah. this is what the inside looks like. It looks pretty nice. All right, here's what I ordered. I got a fry. Um, this is a black sugar caramel, salted caramel uh, milkshake, which looks awesome. I don't know what black sugar is, but it sounded good. Um, they sold me with the pictures in there. I wasn't actually going to get this, but it looks so good in the pictures, I decided to get one. And this is a new Korean um, Korean chicken sandwich, crispy chicken. So I'll tell you the prices and stuff uh, when I come back. So uh, let me get the camera turned around, and I'll be right back. All right, let me tell you the prices first. Um, the Korean fried chicken and the fries, the Korean fried chicken was $7.49, which is an expensive chicken sandwich, but it's a pretty good size. Um, the fries were $2.99. So the total for that, because I added the milkshake on later, um, it was $10.48 plus 63 cents tax in Kentucky. So it was the total was, <coughs> sorry, the total was $11.11. .11. <coughs> um, um, the black sugar vanilla shake, it's not caramel, it's vanilla shake. I said it was caramel. Black sugar vanilla shake, it was $5.89, 35 cents tax, so it was $6.24 total. So so that total was, for these three things, was $17.35 or so, something like that. So that seems, uh, seems a little pricey, but, you know, whatever. So I'm going to try the fries first. Of course, I don't, I don't put ketchup or salt or anything on them um, at first at least they're crinkle cut fries which I like I love a good crinkle cut fry those are good I like the um, I can actually taste the oil that they fried them in not in a bad way but you can, it's like it's not it's like it's not a regular oil like a vegetable regular straight vegetable it's like it's um a different kind of oil or it's just a really fresh new oil so they're good um good potato flavor pretty decently crisp on the outside so they're, they're good they're good fries um they're nothing spectacular but they're good fries um they're not too thick to where they're really potatoey so which that is a good thing now this is gonna be messy i bet this looks like it's gonna get all over me um it looks like it, you get the bun you get the the, the chicken, the fried chicken that's smothered in a sauce with a, looks like sesame sauce and some kind of slaw. I'll hold it right here to where you can hopefully see that. So I'm going to make a mess of it. All right, I'm just going to go in. There we go. I like the crispiness of the chicken. Um, it's really good and, and uh, crispy on the outside. The um, the sauce has some spice to it, like a almost like a red pepper sauce um, spice to it, which I like. I like the spice. If you don't like spicy food, though, don't get this because you won't like it. It is spicy. Um, the slaw adds just a little bit of that um, tartness to it. I, I really do like it, and I like the texture of it. I also like the texture that the slaw adds to it. So, um, I really like this. I like the fries. The fries are gum. The fries are just your regular, everyday, crispy cut fry, though. They're nothing, like I said, spectacular or anything. So, if you go order the fries at, a, at this restaurant and you were to rate them by themselves, you know, they're going to be like a three, three and a half. They're not bad. They're just not anything special. The Korean um, fried chicken, though, I like the flavors of that. I like the sesame sauce that they put on there. Um, I like the spices, that peppery spice flavor. Um, I am enjoying that quite a bit. So I would give this not something, I like a sweeter, I like barbecue that's actually got a sweetness to it too. And I know this is not barbecue, it's Korean um, sauce. But um, when I have chicken, I like a little bit of a sweetness to it. And um, there is some sweetness, but not a lot. It's more, not like a sweet and sour, it's more um, spicy. So I'm going to give the sandwich a four though. I do think it's really good, maybe even a four and a half. Um, if you like this kind of thing, try it out. I think you'll really like it. I do think it's a little expensive though. Um, 
I'll come back after I eat this to get the milkshake. I'm gonna let it melt just a little bit so I can actually drink it, and and I'll be right. You won't you won't notice it just a second for you, but for me it'll be a few minutes. Okay, I gave it a little time just to melt a little bit. Um, I ate the rest of I ate the about half that sandwich. It was, it was so huge. It was it was a huge sandwich. Um, I still am gonna stick with a four. I think it's good. It's just not something I would really like all the time, and I think the price really puts it out of my range of what I would want to get if I didn't really love it. Um, but I do get a four because I do think it was it was good. The fries themselves literally were a three fry. I could bake crinkle cut fries at home in the oven and, and have about the same flavor. I did like the flavor of the oil a little bit, but, but that was about it. This looks really good. Um, it looks like it has caramel all over it, but I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, it tastes like um, a vanilla shake with um, like a salted caramel. Yeah, so I don't know what black sugar is, but it tastes like a um, it tastes like a caramel sauce to me. So it tastes like a vanilla milkshake with a caramel sauce. So it, it's really it is a really good shake. I do like the texture. Um, it melted enough to where I can actually drink it, so I like that. Um, I'm gonna give this shake. I'm gonna give the shake probably a four as well. I do think, I think it's a good flavor if you like caramel. Um, again, no idea what black sugar is, but if it's caramel, it's good. So, um, so anyway, hope you enjoy this video and uh, thanks for watching.